What's up guys, welcome back. My name is Sean and today... Oh, who loves the flow of this? Shoo oh. up! The emotion, the power... And then it just explodes! <laughs> okay. What's up guys, welcome back. My name is Sean and today we're going to be reacting to Dreamcatcher's Witch A Star and Scar. So yeah guys, we are back with some more Dreamcatcher getting into the uh, the B-sides from the Escape. What was it? Escape and er Era? I think it's that. That's what it's called. Escape and Era uh, album. And I am excited to get into some of these B-sides. We've already checked out the B-sides from this album that had some kind of a special video on the channel. So we are now getting into the B-sides that do not have any kind of special video so we will just be using uh lyric videos for these two i don't actually remember what lyric videos i've put here on the list uh for this uh okay you don't it does not seem like we are using random k today so uh that's kind of sad but i'm still excited to get into the actual song which a star and scar so i'm thinking let's just get right into the first one which a star Okay, this is just anything I was not expecting. This would probably be it. Wow. It's a little city puppy, but also very festival-like. It feels like I'm at a, like a festival. Okay, yeah. Uh, Oh, wow, okay. Oh, wow. Wow. I love this. And am I on? I guess it would be which star is this more so, right? I I really I just so different vocals than what we used to. Um, I wonder if the lyrics are based on like the little prints. They might be used subtly. Background vocals as well, man. Man! Yeah, 
Like the synths work and, and everything is so damn good. Wow. All right. That was uh, Dreamcatcher's Witch A Star with a really, really nice, like, uh, synth like, um, synth like city pop song. Very, very soft city pop. And I love it. I really, really like this. Well, oh, I almost want to say we haven't seen this type of Dreamcatcher before because, yeah, we've heard them sing genres that aren't rock before. We've see, heard, heard them sing, like, ballads, like, uh, what's it called, Rainy Day and, and stuff, R&B songs, demo disco-like songs. But we are getting into something here that is uh, this, this kind of soft, slow city pop that makes them use these very very soft and sweet voices which for all some of them works out incredibly incredibly well for some of these i'm i'm, I'm there might actually be mistakes in this because for some of these it sounded like another member than what it showed but maybe you guys can let me know in the comments uh which parts there were mistakes in but i really absolutely adore this uh this song i really like this type of music just once in a while from uh from a group like dreamcatcher that are so heavily based on rock that they're able to you know go ahead and say listen let's change it up a little bit let's set uh, let's make something that's just incredibly nice to listen to i love this and as i said i wonder if it's kind of based lyric lyric wise based on um the little press a little bit they are talking about planets uh, being um like tra traversing different uh, planets, holding your hands out to help people and stuff. Kind of sounds like that's the uh, where the inspiration comes from, at least loosely uh, the inspiration. But we have another one to check out. Let's get right into Scar. Starting off very gorgeous. Mm. Oh. They are really experimenting with this album. Wow. Contrasts in this song. Mm. Oh. Still managing to to find a place for the dummy rap. Ooh, this part's my favorite. Wow. Yo, yo, <laughs> okay. Oh, what are we? Are we outroing it now? What's happening now? I don't really. I really don't want it to outro. I want another course. Nice! Yes. Love that! Remove their schmetzes for half of that, bring it back with the vocals! Yeah. 
Hey, hey. Don't jaw. Wow, oh, man, that was Dreamcatcher's ska. That what a good song. If anything, after you know, after the the newest album uh, with uh, with Bon Voyage as the title track, you know, people were talking about. I was comparing it to like Deja Vu, and people were talking about it being like the child of Deja Vu and and Fly High. If anything, I find this to be like the the, the predecessor to uh, Bon Voyage because of how much of a how much of a like a what, what's it called. A contrast there is um, for uh, within this song. It starts off incredibly, incredibly gorgeous with the vocals, with the uh, with the instrumentals. It's really almost like they do in in, in Bon Voyage. It starts off like completely different from what you expect it to evolve into, but then we are actually hit with the rock instrumentals and everything that we're used to from Dreamcatcher. On top of that, this feels so much more like um, like one of the uh, the Dreamcatcher animated songs. We have a couple of songs from Dreamcatcher that just sound like they are either an opening or an ending to some kind of anime, probably because they are very uh, J pop inspired i think right that they are very j-pop inspired group so scar is definitely one of those songs that that really really built into this and i love it i really really adore this song it's it's gorgeous it's beautiful it's got some really nice vocals especially this part uh we i think we have it in two sequences where uh the first time it's handong doing the uh the the ad libs and then you the second part uh, second time is you doing the uh ad libs and that part is probably my favorite of the uh of this song man this is so good yeah, guys, that was Dreamcatcher's Witch, A Star, and Scar. Two very experimental songs from uh, Dreamcatcher, at least at this point in time. As we, of course, uh, have checked out some of their newer stuff, we know that they very, very much go into loads of different genres outside of, uh, of rock and branches of rock. But with these two songs, it feels a lot more experimental, seeing as uh, Scar, to me at least, is probably the uh, what, what seems to be most like the pre predecessor to something like Bon Voyage. Really, really building and and relying on the contrast that is built between these more really really bright and, and gorgeous sounding parts to these really really upbeat rock heavy kind of parts that's really really cool and which is star again is super super elegant and it plays on to these like uh to, to this this city pop vibe while also having well, uh, what I would think is some kind of inspiration to uh, the Lone Prince, which again is super, super experimental for a group like uh, Dreamcatcher, but I love it. I think the other, both of these two songs are so damn good. Like, I, to this day, of all of these songs we've checked out so far, we've checked out quite a lot so far from Dreamcatcher. Their discography is completely impeccable. Like, I cannot mention a song that I just in the slightest do not like. I really, really love everything they've put out. So, Man, I, I, I'm on top of the world with these two songs because they are so experimental for the time, I guess. And I love them. I think they're really, really good. But let me know what you guys thought about Dreamcatcher Switch, A Star and Scar down in the comments below. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Psst.